Hi, hope you are doing well. Today, we are going to discuss a very important topic that will help you in your career. So we are going to talk about how to make your PowerPoint presentations attractive. So in this video, we will talk about the 12 design principles about your PowerPoint presentation. So we will talk about the title slide. We will talk about the outline slide, the font size and style, the font and slide color, the use of animations and transitions, the use of small phrases, images and illustrations, the importance of proofreading, following the guidelines, we will talk about the software choice, the importance of a conclusion slide in your presentation, and at the end we will talk about the last slide of your presentation. So watch this lecture till the end. This is the first slide of your presentation. The title must be concise, so the title must not be very large, it must be very concise. And the title, it introduces your uh, the topic of your presentation to the audience. Your title slide must, must also contain your full name, your qualifications, and your affiliation. So the second slide is the outline slide. The outline slide, it describes what you are going to say in your presentation. So in the outline, only write the main points, for example, the headings of your, present of your upcoming slides, only write the main points, and follow this outline in your presentation. So you must follow this outline throughout your presentation. Now the font size and the style. Do not use a small font size because it is difficult to read uh, in a presentation setting, both for your audience and for yourself as well. Use at least 40 to 50 font, uh, point font for the heading. For example, here in the heading, this is 40 font size. So be consistent throughout your presentation. It means use the same font size throughout your presentation. Use at least 24 to 28 point uh, font for the text, like this is 28 font size. Use simple fonts like Arial, Verdana, Times New Roman. So use these fonts, uh, fonts because they are easy to read. Do not capitalize uh, and capitalize or use uppercase letters only when they are extremely necessary because they are difficult to read. Do not use a complicated fonts like these. Uh, these fonts, they look beautiful, but they are difficult to read. Uh, for example, this font size is 28 uh, and it is very small. And it is a freestyle font in, in, the, in the Microsoft PowerPoint. So do not use these kind of fonts uh, while you are presenting. The font slide, uh, font and slide color, use a font color that contrasts sharply with the background. Like in this presentation, I'm, I'm using a black color on a white background. Do not use color to emphasize a point, like I have used a red color. So don't do this because at times uh, there are individuals in your presentation who are colorblind or they have impaired vision. And be consistent with the color selection throughout your presentation. So try to be trying to be creative can also be bad sometime as well, like in, in this third line. This is a multicolor font. So don't do this in your presentation. Now, uh, slide color or the, or the backgrounds. So avoid backgrounds that are distracting or difficult to read. So this is a multicolor background and uh, it is difficult to read uh, in the presentation. 
always be consistent if you're using a white background use a white background throughout your presentation so be consistent with the with the font size with the slide color and uh, with with the text color throughout your presentation now uh, the transitions so do not use these kind of transitions so do not use these kind of transitions uh, and animations use simple appear animation and transitions avoid these kind of animations in your presentation avoid these kind of animations in your presentation use simple appear animation and when you are using a simple appear animation be consistent throughout your presentation and check uh, before presenting Use small phrases. Avoid wordiness by using only the keywords and phrases in your, in your presentation. For example, uh, this is an example of a wordiness in a presentation. This slide contains too many words for a presentation slide. It is not written in bullet form, making it difficult both for you and the audience to read and for you to present each point. It looks much more complicated. In short, your audience will spend too much time trying to read this paragraph instead of listening to you. So I hope you are also reading. You are not listening to me. <laughs> so don't do this. Now, use the small phrases. And one of the method is or one of the rule is a six by six rule. What is a six by six rule? Six by six rule means there are six points per slide. And in each point, there are only six words. This rule helps the audience to concentrate on the slide, on your presentation, that what you are saying. It prevents the audience from reading ahead or reading your slides. It helps you to keep your presentation focused. So six by six rule mean one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six points in this PowerPoint presentation. And in each slide, in each point, there are maximum six words. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, um, six points and six words in each point. So this is a six by six rule. Uh, use of images and illustrations. Yes, you should use images and illustrations in your presentation, but do not just copy and paste uh, an image in your PowerPoint presentation. Use high quality images and use some text and label your images with uh, some arrows. Do not rely on on the laser pointer because sometimes when you are in a in a in a in, in presentation setting, sometimes the laser pointer it is not working. So use these kind of shapes uh, from your PowerPoint presentation in your PowerPoint presentation to emphasize a point. So uh, this is another example um, uh, graphs. So do not color your graphs in red and green color because for the color blinds these colors are difficult to rec recognize and when you print these these slides uh, it is difficult to identify between a red and green because in a gray scale it is difficult to identify sometimes it's difficult to identify these two colors so instead what you should do the graph should be properly labeled so this graph is readable both for both on the screen and in the print form as well. So always consider individuals with special need while you are preparing your presentation. Always proofread your presentation. Proof and finalize your presentation. You can request your colleague, your research supervisor or tutor check the spelling mistakes use of repeated words and check the grammatical errors in your presentation you can use some programs like grammarly it will help 
uh, to identify the small uh, spelling mistakes, repeated words, and grammatical errors, and will give you suggestions. So, follow the guidelines. It's very, very important. Follow the guidelines of the conference event. If you are not, uh, usually the conference presentations are usually of 10 minutes duration. So it means you have to maximum, you have uh, six or seven slides. If you're not sure, uh, you can contact the organizers of the conference or the event, or you can contact your tutor if, you, if it is a class presentation. You can always email them. You can contact them on, on over the phone or through any other mediums, but ask them what are the guidelines. The software choice. Do not use less commonly used softwares, especially for your first presentation. There are some uh, amazing softwares, uh, such as Prezi, Photon, uh, Adobe Express, but I'll recommend for the first time use Microsoft PowerPoint. Include a conclusion slide or a summary slide in your presentation. It will summarize the main points of your presentation. It suggests, in case of a research presentation, this summary slide can suggest future avenues of research. And your audience is likely to remember your last words if they have arrived late or if they are not attentive in your presentation. Instead of a thank you or question answers, uh, question answer slides, just say thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And as a in the last slide, give your contact details uh, details so the so the audience may contact you later if they have any questions, or they may contact you for future research collaborations as well. So this last slide is very useful. So thank you so much for watching this complete lecture. If you have any questions just feel free to ask in the comments below thank you so much again and stay blessed also check out the links in the description of this video bye